Hello and welcome to Bladed Articles. Today for you guys I have got a Wii knife and this is a Wii 609 and just a brief overview of the box. So as you can see it's not in the most immaculate condition and that is because I did purchase this second hand. It was purchased from a gentleman called Josh and he does have a awesome tattoo. He is well he is an awesome tattooist. I should say and uh, I'll uh, yeah I'll link him in the bio below if you want to go check him out so that is just a overview of the Wii box and inside you get a lovely pouch like so and this does feel really quite durable to be honest and you get a nice nice feeling zip on there doesn't feel like it's going to break anytime soon which is really nice on a pouch that i'm going to be using every day and i'll explain why in a minute so inside the pouch you get a few peripherals and first off you get the wee knife card their logo on the front and congratulations on the purchase of your wee knife and a few links down below Thank you very much, Wii. I appreciate it. So, you also get a very nice polishing cloth. And I'll just open it up just to show you how decent sized it is. So, as you can see against the pouch, it is a rather decent size. And you do get the Wii knife logo on there. So, uh, you will need a decent sized polishing cloth if you wanted to polish your knife, for example. And you need one for this sized knife. <laughs> and I'll show you why. Let's have a look at the knife. So in here is the knife as you can see. But also you get a nice padded sort of wool pocket in, in the pouch. And in fact you get two. Which is really quite cool. Nice idea. And also in the packet you get this little tool here and we will come back to that in a minute and you will see why so you also get your regular baggie always good to get a baggie and here is the Wii 609 just take it in people have a little look at that i fell in love with the look of this knife i didn't really read up on it before i bought it i just you know it looks cool it looks futuristic I'm having it that's why <laughs> that's why I bought this one and um, obviously whilst I was waiting for it to arrive in the post I did have a look at it and it's got some really decent spec on there so on to the cost of one of these if you were to get one they are discontinued as far as I am aware on most websites however Lamnia have them for 183.81 and they do take apparently 15 to 20 business days to arrive to Lamnia and then obviously it will have to get to you don't know how true that is so please don't hold me to it but I put I will put a link in the description if you wanted to have a look at getting one of those so I didn't pay that much I bought this second hand as I told you before and I paid £120 for this. I had to sell up quite a few knives for getting this, but I had to have it. So on to the second point, which is the scales and jimping. So you get these uh, titanium frame scales and everything you see on the frame, within the frame is titanium. I think even the washers, uh, the bearings, did I read that? Was that the bearings? Don't hold me to that, but everything maybe bar the bearings is titanium, even the thumb stud as well. So these are anodized in, they say blue, however in real light, not this fake bright light that you guys are seeing, it is, I believe, more of a, a blurple. So it's sort of like a tingy, it's got a tinge of purple in there in 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 my opinion anyway i mean obviously when you compare it to the actual purple hardware it's you know it's definitely blue but when you have it out in the light it does have a tinge in there 
So as you can see on mine, I do have a few snail trails from its previous life, but it doesn't really bother me too much. I'm going to be using it and it's titanium, so it's going to last and I can always, you know, funk it up a bit if I wanted to. So on to the jimping and you get uh, quite a few bit of jimping, bits of jimping here. So you get it on the top of the blade itself and it does go rather far down. I'm not quite sure if I've just got small hands or if <laughs> you're supposed to put it that far down. But I use it roughly around about here and this jimping is incredible on this top of the frame. And you also get a little bit down the bottom here. So when it fits into your hand, you have got absolute motion and grip on there. Absolutely lovely. So it is a full five digit hold on there. And you could probably put another one on there if you had six digits, but I don't, I don't, but I would if I could. Anyway, onto the blade. So that is coming in at S35VN, as you can see, or CPM S35VN. And you've seen me do it before. If not, go check out my previous videos. I've had S35VN before, and it is one of my favorite steels. That's because the edge retention is really, really good on it. The corrosion resistance is, is fairly good for, for what I use it for. I mean, my knives re never really get too wet anyway. But I always clean them after use. And um, what we're we going on edge, and yeah, for for its use for what I'm using it for, it is perfect for me. It stays sharp for quite a while. And oh, that was it. It's quite easy to sharpen for for myself anyway. Uh, on my sharpening uh, equipment, it's you know it works well. So on to the next point which is the carry style and you do get a pocket clip on here so it is coming in at tip up right handed carry at the minute and unfortunately you can't change it that is because they were not kind enough to give you an option to switch it over but you can take it off if you fancy and on to the length let's just see how long this a bad boy actually is when i can find my measuring tape here we go so the cutting edge itself i am putting that in as ooh, 10 centimeters i would say on the actual cutting edge itself maybe just a bit over and the actual full length of it when it is open you are looking at 13.5, I would go for. What's oh, sorry, 13? 23.5. Yeah, 13.5 13 doesn't sound right. 23.5. And then let's have a look at the closed orientation length. And we are going for just over 13.2. So 13.2, 13.1 on the closed length on that. So onto the screws. Let's get that crud out of the way. So unfortunately it doesn't take any T's. And that is where this comes into play. So they supply this with you when you purchase one of these. And this is the tool for your knife. And that is, as you can see, the star. So let me just zoom in a little bit. On the thumb stud, you've got a star. On the back here, you've got two stars. We flip it over, you've got a star on the pocket clip. You've got a further two stars on the back. You've got one for the detent, and you've got one for the pivot, and also another one on the other side of the thumb stud. As you can see, these are all stars. So you only need one tool and they supply it with it, which is fantastic. Now, the only issue is, is that I haven't, I haven't attempted to undo these yet, but I've got a feeling that they might strip, but I would have thought that they would have thought about that, basically. 
and also I was wondering why they are not a hex like these for example so these are hex on there so it fits in my driver I thought they would have supplied it with that but that is going back to my first point in stripping I don't think they supplied you with a hex one because if you were to do it up too tight try and undo it too quickly too forcefully I think they really would strip so that is probably why you have to do it all by hand that that is what I'm going for anyway not a problem at least you get the tool to take it apart still so I'm happy with that so this does run on bearings you can't see it in there on this light but I've definitely had a look and they are 100% bearings and also if you've seen my previous other videos I think it was the Cyberblade we'll, we'll check that out in a bit the Cyberblade but the detent which you can see there which is on a little plate inside it does run onto the blade if you look in that gap there you see a little dark spot when I just open that and slowly close it it gets thinner and thinner and thinner and thinner until it eventually disappears and then you're onto the blade and then the bearings take over and it is very smooth so i love this design on the uh, for the detent on there where it sort of jumps onto the ramp which then jumps onto the blade and then the actual bearings make for very buttery smooth action until it locks back in Ta -da! so on to one of the next points which is the logos and that is you get one here which is on the pivot screw itself that is the Wii logo and then on the back here you get obviously the S35VN stamped and then let's have a little close-up view there is the Wii Knife logo on the pocket clip. Awesome stuff. So let's just do a quick hair pop whilst we are here. See if we've got some hair left, see if it's grown back. We're going to have to go right at the top now, boy. So let's have a look. Oh, popping, baby, popping. As you can see, super duper shaving sharp still and this blade has been through cardboard countless packaging tape sheathing the usual stuff if you watch my videos the usual day-to-day -day stuff that it goes through and um, it's been through food no wood this week we've had some uh, had some rope actually had some rope and i think i used it on some paracord although it was only once but we'll throw that one in there and yeah, I love the S35VN because of this precise, you know, reason. Because it, it holds its edge really well for me. It's nice and easy to sharpen for myself. I just, yeah, I can't I can't fault it for, for my purposes. So it's, you know, it was a deal of the century for me for this knife. But I'll just show you a quick size comparison before we go. We've got the Cyber Blade. And as you can see, <laughs> the Cyber Blade opened is the length of the 609 closed. And let's just open it up. And as you can see, it's dwarfed. Also, we have got a Kaiser Zip Slip as well. Also dwarfed. Uh, what else we got? We've got the Elementum which is again very much dwarfed but um i think we need something a little bit larger maybe to compete what about a glock yeah that's a bit better so as you can see it is not quite as much as a fixed however there are definitely fixies that are this size so you know i've been using this for work it has stayed at work and that's where it's it's gonna stay actually because I love it so much um, I might take it home actually and just use it around the house because I really love this and I don't want to get it completely destroyed so I'll probably remove it from work at some point and but I'm having too much fun with it at the minute 
overall I'm absolutely loving this it's just been one of those unexpected knives that I didn't I just went on design and I went on a whim and my god I love it if you can get your hands on one for around about the price that I paid I say go for it it is well worth the 120 pounds I paid and some you know I now that I've got one of these I would happily pay you know for me in my budget situation I would probably go for you know 150 160 it's happily worth that amount in my particular opinion however others it may not be but um for 183 well, that's, a bit, that's a bit of a stretch if I'm honest and then you've got the postage and everything on top of that if they charge you possibly even customs and obviously it is not a uk legal or friendly carry so please do bear that in mind so thank you very much for watching and i will catch you on the next one see you then